Meet Recraft AI, the text-to-image art generator behind these amazing creations. Transform your ideas into stunning images in seconds. Imagine it, type it, and watch it come to life. Ready to try? Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. First, we visit the Recraft AI website. Click on the Get Recraft Free button located in the top right corner of the website. We need to create an account and log in. You can log in using your email, Google account, Apple ID, or Discord account. I'm choosing Google. I select one of the Gmail accounts already signed in and proceed to log in. Before accessing the website, you'll be asked a few questions about your job, your goals for using Recraft, and how you discovered this AI platform. After completing a few very simple steps, you'll be directed to the panel selection page. As of the release date of this tutorial, Recraft AI offers a completely free plan with sufficient credits to create images using the text-to-image service. However, Keep in mind that there's no guarantee this will remain the same. The platform's plans might change in the near future, or the free plan could even be removed entirely. It's natural that YouTube might recommend this tutorial to new viewers months from now. So, if you're watching this video and notice the plans have changed, don't accuse me of lying. I'm clarifying this up front. As a content creator, I strive to provide accurate and up-to-date information. I hope you judge my content fairly with full awareness of this fact. My recommendation is to start with the free plan offered by Recraft AI's image creation platform. This plan allows you to work with AI tools completely free and create the images you want, turning your ideas into visuals. If you're satisfied with the features and quality, you can later upgrade to the paid plans, which start at $10 per month. With the free plan, you'll receive 50 free credits daily, which automatically refresh every day. However, be aware that images you create in the free plan are stored publicly. The private option for storing images is only available in the paid plans. Additionally, with the free plan, you can generate up to two images per session, whereas in the paid plan, this limit increases to four. I click on the Select Plan button to choose the free plan. On the new page, there are various items explaining the platform's features. I select all of them and delete them by clicking the Delete button. On the left side, there's a box labeled Create New, which contains four main options. Image, allows you to create raster and vector images. Frame, lets you drag and drop images and text into frames to generate graphic designs. Image Set, generates up to six consistent style images. Mockups, lets you drag an image onto a mockup to create a perfect product image. I click on the image option. A canvas is created in the center of the page but you need to set the size and aspect ratio. As shown in the image, you can choose between square, vertical, and horizontal dimensions. Depending on the platform you're creating content for, you can customize the aspect ratio. I select the 16 to 9 option and set the canvas size to 1920 by 1080. A cool feature is that you can round the edges of your canvas. Below the canvas size settings, there's a drop-down list containing various presets and illustration models. These can transform your image into styles like vector art, hand-drawn, HDR, bold sketch, black and white, risograph, retro pop, pixel art, or long shadow. To apply any of these styles, you simply click the apply button for the respective style. I choose Recraft V3 RAW, one of the latest options available on this platform. In the image generation panel, there are options for private and public images. However, Enabling the private option is only available in the paid plans. Also, in the free plan, you can generate only two images per session, but as shown in the panel, this limit increases to four in the paid plan. Another feature to mention is the zoom functionality for the canvas, located in the bottom right corner. You can adjust the zoom level using percentage values. I set it to 60%, which I find suitable for displaying the canvas at the center of the page. To move the canvas, Simply click and drag it in any direction you want. In the image generation panel, there's a box where you can enter prompts. A prompt is essentially your idea, which needs to be typed as text. 
I plan to challenge this AI's capabilities with various prompts to better understand how well it generates images in different styles. So, stay with me until the end of these tests. For the first prompt, I want to see if it can generate images of celebrities or famous people. To test this, I've written a prompt for generating an image of Angelina Jolie. I paste the prompt into the text box and click the Recraft button. My request is added to the queue, and after a few moments, the images are ready. Since we're using the free plan, two images of Angelina Jolie were generated. I click on the thumbnails to review both images, and as you can see, the results are quite impressive. Recraft's AI image generator has effectively translated my idea into visuals using the text image feature. For the second test, I want Recraft to generate an image of Leonardo DiCaprio looking happy and smiling. I delete the previous prompt and paste a new one into the text box. Without changing any previous settings, I click Recraft. My request enters the queue, and shortly after, the images are ready. I click on the thumbnails to review the two images of Leonardo DiCaprio. As you can see, the results are remarkable. The AI completely understood my text prompt, and the generated images perfectly match my expectations. For the third test, let's see how Recraft performs with images of ordinary people. I delete the DiCaprio prompt and paste the pre-written prompt into the text box. I click Recraft, and the third request enters the queue. After a few seconds, the new images are ready. As you can see, the results for ordinary people are also excellent, with beautifully generated images. In the next test, let's find out if Recraft can generate images in styles like cartoon or 3D animation. I've prepared a prompt beforehand. It includes the keyword, 3D cartoon, to generate an image of Dwayne Johnson in this style. I paste the prompt into the text box and click Recraft. The fourth request enters the queue, and after a few seconds, the new images are ready. We have two thumbnails, and upon reviewing them, you can see that the AI did an excellent job generating images in the 3D cartoon style. The results are fun and impressive. To download an image, click on the export button in the top right corner of the site. Under the resolution section, I enter the desired dimensions, 1920 by 1080 in this case. Then I choose the format either JPEG or PNG. I select JPEG. Next, I want to test how well Recraft generates animal images. For this, I've prepared a prompt for a tiger. I paste it into the text box and click Recraft. The fifth request enters the queue, and after a short wait, the new images are ready. We have two thumbnails. Clicking on them reveals that the AI has done a fantastic job with the tiger image, excelling in this challenge as well. Now it's time to use Recraft's text-to-image feature to generate an iconic tourist spot and evaluate the results. For this, I've prepared a prompt for the Eiffel Tower. I paste it into the text box and using the same settings as before, click Recraft. The sixth request enters the queue, and within seconds, the new images are ready. We have two thumbnails. Upon reviewing them, it's clear that the AI has done an outstanding job generating images of the Eiffel Tower, producing precise and stunning visuals. In the next test, let's see how Recraft generates a car image. I've prepared a prompt for a Lamborghini. I paste it into the text box and, without changing any previous settings, click Recraft. The seventh request enters the queue, and after a few seconds, the new images are ready. The images of the Lamborghini and its background are incredible and captivating. There are no flaws in the images, and the AI has demonstrated an excellent understanding of all the prompts so far. I'm amazed by the Lamborghini image and decide to download it. I click on the export button in the top right corner, Enter the resolution as 1920 by 1080 and choose JPEG as the format. For the eighth test, let's generate an image of a headphone and evaluate the results. I paste a pre-written prompt for a headphone into the text box and, with the initial settings, click Recraft. The eighth request enters the queue, and after a moment, the new images are ready. I click on the thumbnails to review the images of the headphones. I'm absolutely stunned by the AI's understanding and amazed at its capabilities. To download the headphone image, I follow the same steps, click export, enter the resolution 1920 by 1080 and select JPEG. Many of you have asked me whether it's possible to create a logo using AI. Now it's time to test this. I paste the pre-written logo prompt into the text box and, without changing any settings, click Recraft. 
The ninth request enters the queue, and after a moment, the logo images are ready. The logos are fascinating, and with further refinement of the prompt, the results could be even more impressive. A question on my mind is whether this platform can generate images in specific styles like cyberpunk, with glowing neon effects. Let's test it. I've prepared a cyberpunk style prompt and pasted it into the text box. Using the same initial settings, I click RecRaft. The tenth request enters the queue, and within seconds, the cyberpunk images are ready. The images are unique, bold, and extraordinary. To access all the images we've created, click on the gallery option in the bottom right corner of the website. A panel opens on the right. Under the History tab, you'll find a list of all the works generated with RecRaft, giving you full access to them. I hope my tests and reviews have helped you understand RecRaft. There are still many more features to explore, but since this tutorial has become lengthy, we'll cover them in upcoming tutorials. Stay tuned for the next video on Recraft's AI Image Generator. Did you enjoy this tutorial? Don't keep it to yourself. Smash that like button and share it with your friends. This is just the beginning. There's so much more waiting for you here. If AI excites you, you're exactly where you need to be. Subscribe now and hit the bell icon to stay updated with every new video. Let's explore the future of AI together, because the future is AI. Ready to dive in? See you in the next tutorial.